Okay, so here's part two of my dropship fix. Um, in the first video, I talked about these crappy little hinges from the fabric store. Forget about them. They're too small, they're not going to cut it. We got to use bigger hinges. Bigger hinges means it's going to look crappier, but it is what it is. I'm sure there's a lot of other ways to do this. This is how I did it. It's still cheap. Picked up these hinges for about five bucks with bolts instead of just the wood screws that they come with. Check it out. You be the judge. Hinges come from Lowe's. You can judge up the size yourself, but I think it turned out okay, you know, with a paint job. So here it is. All right. So from this distance, can you even tell? Probably not. Let's go ahead and zoom in. All right, so here's my hinges. So they're not all that great. You can see on that one I drilled some extra holes. Oops. All right, so yeah, it's obvious, but hey, guess what? Opens. Hey. Opens. I'll probably end up painting these, filling these extra holes in at some point in time. But for now, this is all I was looking for. So, now we got the hinges fixed on this. Like I said, there might be other ways to do it. There might be ways that look a lot better. But for someone who uses these things to play with and not just sit on a shelf, this is pretty good. And I don't ever foresee having any hinge issues again. Um, so just to give you... an a little bit other look here you can see I have the hinges oh if this ever focuses I have the hinges on the outside and now I just gotta load my army alright so that's it this is how I fix the hinges on this only video I know of you might have a better idea if you do post it that's awesome if you don't use my idea Either way, you're going to have a drop ship with hinges that don't suck, and uh, this is what they should have done from the factory instead of selling us really expensive pieces of crap. Shame on them. All right, thanks a lot. Enjoy.